Hello, and thank you so much for joining in for this call because this is BMM and I'm Kavita Kapoor Khalsa. I am a three-day body class facilitator and a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness. And today I have with me Nivedita Indrajit, who is quite uh, responsible for the call, for this call to show up. Thank you, Nivedita. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yes. So, um, what what do you get when you what did you get or like how did this call come about? Let me let's just talk about that and then start rolling. BMM is actually one of my favorite processes. I think you know after the three day body class that I've done and uh, foundation, someone said like if you run this process like 200, 300 times, you're like so free from the biomimetic mimicry. So I never really found any partner. So I would uh, hold on to my puppy or a dog or something and I'll place my hands and every night I have been doing this for the last three years. Wow. Every night. That's why I run, create everything, change everything. And it's become so easy. You know, there's that charge when I'm talking to people, it comes and I see and it's so, there's so much space between me and that. So, uh, no, so there'll be a lot of people asking this question as to, um, can you do it on yourself? And does it have the same effect as and when somebody else does it on you? It's better if someone runs it. <laughs> it's always better 10,000 times. I know. So, so you know what, uh, how this actually the call came about was bodies, parents is what we were talking about and how we have money issues, right? And how we take on the journey of our parents and then think, that that's it. Okay. That is where we are stuck with our money issues, with our body issues, with our relationships and stuff. So we came with BMP and um, that's when Nivedita said, oh, it sounds like BMM, you know, I said, okay, let's make it BMM. It sounds even more fun. How can we ha have fun with the processes and call them something different? Because it's about bodies, it's about money and it's about mom, if not, I mean, so I had to add that. So you're bummed. <laughs> you know, how about, you're totally bummed with this. How how many of you are bummed with your parental reality, with your relationships and your money flows? And everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it, please? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, for client, short, boys, for ads and beyonds. So, okay, Arjuna is asking, how does Nivedita run it through her puppy? Like, so basically, puppy. the puppy sleeps on me. Mm-hmm. Uh, which means I say, oh, the puppy is giving me BMM. <laughs> and then I just run it on me. Sometimes I turn this way and the puppy sleeping back to back. Oh, the puppy sleeps on my pillow and sometimes pushes me off the pillow. So, yeah, that's okay. It's about you receiving. It's pushing yeah. your barrier down and just being total allowance of you receiving the process period. So, yes. Trust me, in... After that, the dogs multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> So that now we, we're talking about uh, bodies, money, and uh, mom, dad. I'm just kind of repeating simply because there are more people joining in. And how many of you have actually aligned and agreed with or resisted and reacted to the fact that you're more like your dad or more, you're more like your mom? And everywhere you created a reality where you had to only make yourself lesser because as kids, when we come onto the planet, we just want to see everyone happy. And we've all wanted that, right? Even Dr. Dane wanted it because he couldn't see that why his mom was so sad and why he had to go through all the turmoil and all the difficult times that he had to go through. So he wanted his mother to be very happy. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case because she was uh, probably holding a lot of guilt, a lot of sadness, and which we then perceive or we pick it up and we think it's ours or it's because of us. So if you have made yourself responsible for their sadness, will you please just try and uncreate it now? Yes, please. I try and good, bad, part for client shots, boys, poets, and beyond. So what happens is that how many of you as children were taught that, you know, there are going to be consequences of doing something, which is usually the consequences before you have to think before you do something, right? So when you keep thinking before you do something, you're literally not able to do anything because you're only thinking about the consequences, correct? And not the good ones. Obviously, you don't think that, oh, something great is going to happen if I do this, right? 
and that is where you start limiting yourself i'm not like both of them i'm somewhere more like grandma or grandpa totally not willing to take too much responsibility or become baffled with responsibility absolutely because they are the ones who brought you up so it's about you know aligning and agreeing or resisting or reacting to your master it's like being how many of us really like dogs yeah oh i'm not going to judge you it's absolutely okay i know a lot of us oh dog is so cute you know and how many of us really like cats not many but that's okay because the cat is not going to give you much attention for who you be and where you be and how you be right and it's not even asking you to love her back uh, but the dog does so we love our parents don't we even when they don't love us we just love them so um <clears throat> what are you avoiding with your body with your money flows everything that is will you just try and uncreate it now yes yes very yes. good bad for for line short boys providing you so how many of you are really defending your mom or defending your dad and what does that even mean to you defending your mom defending your dad or defending against them in a way where you feel that oh i'm not like them at all like you know i'm not i'm better than them or you know like you're defending your um, reality that you're so not them and having said that you are ending up creating yourself like them how many of you are doing that yeah okay so <laughs> yeah, not, not so yeah. much now not so much now I mean, we are aware of it that we are like them somewhere in certain yeah. areas, right? Yeah. So for me, it was more like um, um, I thought I was generous till I realized I was not, because it was my dad who was kicking in a lot of places. Because when you have money and then you go into a, you know, like oh, I can't spend, you know, I I can't spend on myself. Where did I pick it up from? My dad. He would spend it all on us. He would. wear um, you know clothes which were tattered but he wouldn't spend it on himself and he would think see i've done so much for my kids and those kids said you are a fool you are an asshole because he couldn't live for himself he couldn't do things for himself lesser did we know that we started doing that either too much of it which is my brothers or too less of it which is me so either we resisted and reacted i'm so not like my dad don't tell me that because my mom keep kept cursing me you're so like your dad you know you're not going to get a partner and then if you even if you get a partner he's not going to stay not everyone is like your mother you see and i'm like yeah you're right that's why i had my first divorce thank you so much that's what that's what created that because i was resisting my dad so much till i realized oh, oh okay do i have a choice here could i have something easier and what if i didn't have to be like them and what if you are like them and you could acknowledge and not resist that and now could you change it yeah. right so how many of you are defending not to be accused by your parents or by your relatives or your family or your friends that you're so like your dad or you so like your mom how much of it are you uh, defending and everything that is will you just try and create right wrong or bad part of line shots boys for bad and beyond and everywhere you have made your reality based on their reality because you know what you're so sweet you all of you all you know amazing humanoids you are you will go and um you love your parents you just will mess yourself up so much so that they can feel better about themselves and it's not just parents we do it everywhere because the more you shine the more you uh, are radiant you the more you're glowing there are people who will not be able to receive it or take it they won't like it so you have to uh, you know kind of diminish yourself or contract yourself or shrink yourself so that others can feel more comfortable then you realize they're still not comfortable then you chop chop off another part of you so that they can feel more comfortable and they still don't feel comfortable and they're like oh okay i did so much for my mom she doesn't still like me she'll still find a reason to accuse you yeah my family tried to control me more out of control i be yeah yes thank you for acknowledging that yeah because the more you kind of uh, 
you think that you 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 have moved out of that vibration that you've grown up in because that's the maximum number of years that you've spent with your parents right or yeah. grandparents whatever whatever is dense energy you know how they be this is how it has to be you know that is how they are mostly and you can't do anything apart from that this is how it has to be it's about maintaining your reality and then lesser time you spend with your parents the more chances of you choosing yourself in a very different way but because your body is there they, you are a body who has come out of them right now you have created your body based on what based on their bodies based on what people told you who you look like so that's where your body's uh, body's reality come in and the money flows of course because you've seen them how they have so you're lucky if you're born to rich parents because they don't have any kind of uh, a point of view or they do have a point of view that uh, they're going to run out of it but that's okay you're not aware of it but you would pick it up from your parents that okay my father was very large hearted so here i go i become large hearted or my dad used to spend a lot because he had a lot so i would like to have a lot you would at least not go down but those who didn't have it they have come from a uh, poverty con consciousness or poverty mentality where they like struggling to have more in their life so everywhere you allowed yourself to struggle because you saw it that if my parents could could not have it how could i have it if they didn't have great relationship how the fuck could you cuz if you're very happy what if your parents like then or oh, talks about it knowledge calls that he how could he be happy happier than his family and that made him sad because he had to pull himself down so that his mom feels better about herself and that dynamics never works because the more you go down while you want to go up you want to laugh but you're not laughing and you're suppressing with a lot of sadness and trauma and abuse and if you have this suppressed uh, anger or blame shame regret and guilt all your distractor implants guess what that is the potency that you're hiding behind which hurts in your body does anybody's body out here is you know do your body is hurt by any chance do you have pains and aches in your body are you experiencing any pains and aches in your body yes tejal i mean are you saying yes my body hurts or are you saying you you raise your hand to ask a question hi hi yeah, my body hurts yeah hey your, my body your body hurts. hurts yeah that's yeah. what yeah sirisha is writing her wrist is aching so all the pain and ache that you've picked up somewhere sometime when you were growing up i have a very old skin trouble okay which is eczema or what okay so a lot of people yes you acknowledge there is a lot of pain that your body is experiencing who does that belong to yeah especially joints i feel are you Knee from joint. a joint Are you from a joint family? Just asking. No, no, no. no, no. My yeah, family is UK, but I, uh, the thing you said about father and like yes. parents, yeah, parents I relate too. much. Stiffness. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I relate too much to my father, and at times I get frustrated because I don't like many of his things, and I subconsciously keep on thinking that I don't want to inculcate this from him. I don't want to, and somewhere I feel I'm landing up there only many yeah. times. Yeah, a lot of times because you don't yeah. want to be like yeah. them, and guess what? Don't want means you'll get it and you'll become like them. Many times it happens that I take so much, uh, so much of it. I just decide no, I'm not going to do this. But seriously, many times I land up doing the same things. But so the, how how much of your proving that I'm not like? How much are you proving that you're not like him and becoming like him? Everything that is will you destroy and create now? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, part, for line, shirts, boys, for bad and girls. Oh, Priya has a list of pain. Oh, very nice. That you're not going to get a medal for that though. Stomach pain, chest pain, laziness, toothache. Oh, but that's not the pain. But toothache is okay. Hip is uh, aching. Before this call, <laughs> what was it? What were you aware of? I wonder. You're such an empath, and everywhere you're picking up each other's pain. Can you please return it to sender and say thank you so much? Yeah. Can you thank? Can you yes. thank yourself uh, for being aware? Yes, Sirisha. Yeah. Yes, Nivita. Hip hip hore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hip hip hore. So, so uh, Pune is also facing this. I think I recently picked up yeah. this vertigo. You know, my head spins when I am like. 
trying to sit down or sleep or it's a very random thing i never had it before but you know and uh, three days back i know i was overthinking about certain situations at home and i just fell off the stairs i just slipped and fell down and uh, i'm okay wow. i'm not bruised yeah. or anything but yeah five six stairs i just slipped and i landed on my bum and i'm like okay this so, is happening to me right when now you, so when so, you have a situation come up like that uh, called vertigo you could ask a question um um are there too many entities that you perceiving first of all and uh, secondly you can always uh, ask is that too much change i'm not that i'm unable to process is there is there something changing in your world where because you know what when you're trying to go logically when there's some kind of awareness coming and then you're like ah oh, but i can't decode it so awareness and then thinking so you're changing that awareness into smaller portions and then you're like lost you you actually <laughs> that that word entity uh, you know i think it was halloween when there was an entity program that did end up happen in hyderabad and i think from then i have somehow been getting pulled into doing something about it mm-hmm. or facilitating somebody else to go do something for somebody like my friend's mom she was in a death bed mm-hmm. and i could sit here and tell that you know what i think there's an entity i don't know what to do let me ask in the group somebody will help you and facilitate and i know sailaja another person facilitated okay. them and all of that so yeah uh, it, so the vertigo also is very recent it only started recently for me and, and who, this who giddiness and the spinning is been yeah. happening only like so who does it belong to and where have you made yeah. it yours everywhere you aligned and agreed with or resisted and reacted to will you destroy and create it now yes. right wrong good bad for for client shots for so as who or yes, what please. makes you unstable in your world who or what is making you unstable mm. in your world i, I think the situ right i think the situation that i'm in a divorce uh, so that divorce? Whole, I uh, like relationship it. instability. Oh my god. <laughs> and how many of you human beings are so, looking at stable I, relationships? Can you destroy and uncreate all that shit? Right wrong good bad for for clients or boys for as a man. Human beings <laughs> are not here for stability, right? I mean with you for all yeah. you know you, your so, stability could mean this 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 this. Who says the stability is this? what if you could go like this and this and this and that no. stability yeah. and irasima what so, if you could shake so your true. booty you could shake your booty and make some money out of it everything that is <laughs> hurting in your back or in your body can you just shake it off <laughs> shake it off shimmy baby shimmy everything is not even been there <laughs> yeah shimmy okay everywhere you know when you just shimmy it yeah. out baby everything that doesn't allow you to be that energy of sexualness will you just run and create it now yes very strong good bad for for line shots boys for bad yes. and so everything okay so what if you could just simply ask uh, yourself a question and dean gave it in uh, in this facilitator call that we were doing no matter what it looks like no matter what it takes no matter you know what you have to lose so what are you not willing to lose if you were to give up on your how your parents be if you were to lose something what would you be losing and what would you be gaining what do you lose and what do you gain anyone yes yes you rasana what do you I'll lose i lose, lose back you and lose that conf- yeah i'll get confident confidence ah, so everything that you're attitude. avoiding and defending confident everywhere you're avoiding and defending confidence attitude money definitely because that's a by product of your creation attitude and what else did you say confidence and, and attitude confidence and, and attitude money. and everything that doesn't allow you to have ease with your creations with your design and create it now right wrong good bad perfect line shots boys for bad and yours so arjuna is writing already lost my father i've seen my mother and brother acting more freely exactly everywhere you're not letting yourself 
get the wings out so that you can be more of you and not judge yourself everywhere you're suppressing and hiding behind so that you never get the wings and your back is constantly hurting will you please revoke free can recent reclaim renounce it and destroy and create it now yes right on good bad for for client shots boys for as and so no matter what it looks like if you could come to this commitment to yourself no matter what it looks like no matter what it takes no matter what you have to lose no matter what you have to gain no matter uh, what you have to choose and no matter what you have to change i'm having that now if you could make that demand and dear universe please help and i will do whatever you suggest right wrong good bad for for client shots boys for bad and and help not with the idea of i'm so pathetic well you you're going to invite entities help with the energy of hey you know could you just do something with this everywhere you're now willing to lose your um your fear your blame shame regret and guilt the more need to be like humans um all of that and and being the the most uh, cherished uh, you know what do you call it? apple pie of your parents what if you didn't have to be that anymore let the other sibling take it everything that is going to allow you to be that will you destroy and uncreate it now yes irashima you wanted to say something oh hey kavita oh my god just hey. so proud of you it's like fried me off in in five minutes <laughs> um Yes. Somebody touched on divorce and I just want to kind of like out myself because obviously yes. I'm going through a divorce at the moment and yes. my husband is a lawyer and I created this fabulous life. We live in a beautiful place, beautiful house. Yes. Yes. And it's like that letting go of him and everywhere where I'm like, I'm not going to be able to recreate that for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and not, no one in my family has ever got divorced. Everyone has stayed with a man for the sake of being with a man. Okay. And I've chosen to I've chosen to leave him. So wow. it's like, you know, I've just, hey. I've decided to leave the white guy. I mean, who does that? <laughs> who does that? You created such a beautiful thing called the white guy. Mm. And you, you went past all the racial discrimination and now you've got to leave him. The price yeah. possession, who, who is a rich white guy, forget anything else. <laughs> yeah. The Caucasian penis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah so and then how did you how did that happen how did you go beyond your mom or dad for that matter Well this is what I'm saying because I'm choosing to leave him it's like it's hugely distracting in plants but it's that thing of like oh my god I'm going back instead of what can I create now because yes. he's in putting in my universe that without him I'm not going to accomplish anything Absolutely and he's so right and so so are you and what are you aware of how much are you willing to go beyond that and what are you not willing to gain with this that you've already decided or concluded that you can't have or you can't create more than him because you need a big degree for that or you need something really big for you uh, to be able to create that kind of money because you don't have that kind of education or whatever yeah. that be yeah that that so if you think all, all your accolades and all your uh, degrees are going to get you what you are desiring for will you destroy and uncreate it now and all the stigma yeah. that you have in your family that after having being labeled as you know like what a brilliant creation and you're willing to destroy your creation because it's not no longer working for you and choosing more of you for yourself and still judging you that maybe i'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing can you please destroy and uncreate it now right wrong yeah. good bad for to my short boys for my demon so what happens to, is anyway you what she had said in the story i think i sail in the same boat as well like i'm the first There'll girl many who's sailing in the to same boat go yeah. against love these odds and you know stand up and say you know i've heard my own past say you know there are so many people who've been there for yeah. the kids and you know who've been there and lived in this marriage and uh, i asked them only one question i said okay so what happened i said oh the kids are married and settled now i said so anything changed for the person in the marriage uh, and and they didn't have an answer i said you know what it's okay i want change for myself it's just not for this. so yeah i think you know most of us create this beautiful marriage uh, yeah and most of the times you know we have created that beautiful marriage and then we are also willing to uncreate all of it and i'm ready to recreate it too 
Absolutely. But I don't want to be stuck in a place. Is what no. I so think. how many it's connection points? It's the most points, important part of this how journey. How many? How many connection points are you guys having so that you can maintain the cohesion, uh, the structural cohesion of this reality, so that you maintain it? You're not supposed to change it. That's what we are told. Anything you do, which is going to be different, is not yeah. going to be accepted, right? And now you're doing something so different. Hence. You are so evil, or access is evil. Everything that brings up, will you revoke, recan, resend, reclaim, renounce, announce, destroy, and uncreate it now? Right, wrong, good, bad, powerful, client, choice, boys, for bad, and beyond. Yeah. So, what if you were willing to gain, gain that which you know, a lot of ease, a lot of joy, and everywhere you be too much because your parents can't take it because you're being too much. They want to shut you down and say, shut up and sit down. because that's what you learned being too much is not great right if you gain too much uh you may just destroy the structural cohesion of this reality and you, you don't want to be the one who is destroying everything or the basic tapestry of this reality right uh everything. the parents don't want to even hear the fact that you know i am willing to let go of everything that i have built over 20 years because they believe that i can have only luxury if i am with the man if not no of course yeah luxury is when the man is a provider you you are not the one while you never even acknowledge or nobody would ever acknowledge that because you were there perhaps he was the one who was growing in his life because you were giving him that joy or sex or whatever exactly. you were giving so yeah. while you yeah. thought it was him while all the while it was you will you please destroy and create right wrong good bad for client short boy yes yes, yes please yes. Yes, Tejas. Yes. <laughs> My question is bit different actually. Uh, yes. Usually, wherever I go, na, I catch uh-huh. vibrations and I come back. मतलब I don't know. I started get I falling like falling sick, or somebody sending some gifts to me. If their intentions are wrong, oh. I I start okay. hurting so, my. मतलब yeah, I, I don't. Know. I'm sorry to be on the different. No. No, no, no. That's absolutely fine. You just expand yourself out. You just expand See. yourself out, okay? And even and can you not go into judgment of those people who probably had malified intentions or not such great intentions, but they're still gifting you because they are supposed to gift you, and you're like, what? Like, okay, I can like this gift, okay? Can you just acknowledge that and not hurt in allow that to hurt you or your body, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you can just simply. expand out and return it to sender all those vibrations that they've sent you anything uh, that you did not want or you you desired for okay yeah. may i just say something here yes nivedita so so right now this is a gift call right yeah are you re- really having the same feelings right now same vibrations or whatever pages no right uh, actually some some months back my jethani my co sister in law from out of nowhere send me some good uh, haar you know matlab nice one okay. and from then mai bistar se uthi nahi hu and some days before in meditation that that so, same gift came in my mind so my mom said you don't keep it give it to me i am fine from two days but uh, uske haath ke upar kaanch gir gaya and she hurt herself the moment okay. it was out of so, my house so i don't it, know how to relate all this i'm sorry so is it is it the <laughs> gift or is it your body unwilling to receive because right now <laughs> kavita is also gifting a call like kavita is also right now gifting a call you so, receive it no so what you did they say are you receiving this gift call are you feeling the same are you sensing the similar vibrations are you are you receiving it because yeah. if you can receive this what if you obviously because co sister and anything that comes in law you know becomes really tricky you know <laughs> any sister in law or mother in law father in law there too much of law in it right we are not law law abiding people anyway so we won't <laughs> like it so, i yeah. know where in this world i want to abide any law <laughs> exactly right we don't like it and now the lawfully gift that has been given which is so precious or expensive and what if you just are reacting your body is not okay with it and you correlating too many things that okay because now i've given it to my mom and then this happened so see yeah. your point of view will create your reality 
And that's okay. the result that you will have with everything that you're doing. What if you did not have to go there and you say, okay, interesting point of view at this point of view and hold that, that uh, whatever uh, necklace or whatever that is and keep doing IPOR till you get, the, get over with the negative charges or whatever emotional charges you have. And then you ask, hey, would you like to be there in my life? Okay. And if the energy of those diamonds are saying, yeah, I would like, love to be with you. So just be, just have it. What did the necklace do, you know? Like, what did the necklace do for you to feel like this? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, out of nowhere, she doesn't even like me. Out of nowhere, she sent me that. And in 20 years, she's never gifted me anything. Out what of is, nowhere, it just came you, through courier to me. <laughs> yeah, what if there is something? And could you do your entity clearing and still have that thing? Because and it's what, precious. You know, you're saying, right? 20 years, she hasn't gifted you anything. What if the... Har is so powerful that it made it gift, you know. Yeah, yeah. You're not considering all those things, na, Tejal. <laughs> then I have to get in the other way around. <laughs> yes, it's the other way around. Okay, how can I have yeah. ease with this? Where yeah. are you not willing to have ease with your bodies, with your money flows? Because it's a form of creation. What if you've shifted so much that people would like to gift you that? I'm just kind of asking you a question. Yeah, just like giving you that thing, you know. They yeah, just and then... Husband. You still will align and agree with mom or dad and how they think about you and how you must be thinking. And then you're entirely wired oh. basis that. And what if all your divorces did not happen? What if, how many of your parents are together, but not together? Uh, and then you picked it up that, okay, it was, it must have been easier to kind of part ways. Why stay in the, under one roof? And True. rather than judge you and hurt you and not willing to gain the freedom that you could have. So everything that is, everywhere you're resisting all your ease, joy, and glory as a way of gaining and as a way of caring for yourself and for others, will you destroy and uncreate it now? Right, wrong, good, bad, powerful, client, short, boy, for bad, and your Yes, Pallavi. So, my very long ago, this was a point of view. Tha, or was English. Tha. There are some people who are uh, who can okay. speak in English. I've yeah. had a point of view uh for a longer time and, and it was a very strong impression i i think it's from my birth yeah. that whatever power i am having i knew that i can create much and much and much and that's not for me only okay. when i have a man and i can create it for him yeah that, right and then i stop my progress so who does that belong to that you can create only when there's a man in your life. And everywhere you being the man who creates normally for a woman <laughs> and uh, you being the man of your life and you not having another man in your life. So, I mean, how would that be like if you could just allow yourself to, uh, you know, just ask this question, who does this belong to? That I can create only if there is somebody in my life. And what if that somebody could be you? Oh, that's so much relief actually. Yeah, so... And everywhere you're resisting consciousness. So consciousness is what, like, you know, can, can, you know, everywhere you're not recognizing, a lot of you are in the business of consciousness, right? And a lot of people were told consciousness is, a, you know, you shouldn't be charging for it. So everywhere you're giving up your money for being co more conscious, which does not, I mean, the basic, um, uh, you know, thing is that consciousness includes everything, including money, Everywhere you're resisting that so that you can prove how conscious you are. Will you destroy and uncreate it now? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, powerful, line, short, boys, for bad, and beyond. Shout out to the sacrificial goats out here, including me. <laughs> yes, including. Yeah, so, I mean, everywhere you're sacrificing yourself because now there's no man or you're supposed to feel bad or guilty for not having a man. And so your money flows have to be affected. Will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good, bad, powerful, client, short, boys, for bad, okay. and beyond. So everywhere you're in the waiting and you're not creating, the money flows that you know are true and possible for you, will you destroy and uncreate that? Because yes. here Priya is writing, I also used to think when I'll find my partner and then everything will be okay in my life. Really? Yeah, I mean, is that true, even true? How much of lies are you holding on to that? One day when you're with the right person, then everything will be right in your life. 
and for all of that uh, you know all the time you have to judge yourself that you only wrong and when you nail it that this seems to be the right person like irashi ma just said that in, she had in a fact, wide, I, you know i feel so white proud ki yeah. mai exist kar rahi hu meri wajah se you look broke i mean for because of me these people are growing and i am yeah. <laughs> feeling glorified about that having nothing saved in my life for myself yeah is now the time to stop bleating like she nivedita is writing everything that is will you destroy and uncreate yes. it now right yes. wrong good bad for for client shots boys for vasmi on so where irasima just said that you know she created a rich white guy everything was right as for the family culture everything oh my god you have it all and now you leaving it all so all the guilt that comes along all the blame shame and regret and guilt that comes along that maybe am i doing it right am i not doing it right will you revoke rick and resend rick lemon nuns and nuns destroy and uncreate it now and right wrong good bad perfect line shot void for bad and beyond is now the time for the lions and lionesses to roar yes right even you just you know you suppressed yourself and made yourself in this solid bob called the your body and your body is hurting continuously and you can't do anything about it what if you recognize that you're not if you find somebody that you know somebody is so sad and pathetic it's because they have a lot of un, uh, you know suppressed anger hidden underneath that they will always look pathetic okay so if you could just clear their and your distracted implants i think a lot uh, you will set yourself free and forgive yourself for what you think you should have done or not and you haven't done and forgive uh, your parents you know it's the the toughest thing is to forgiving your parents and hey um i know i mean you did what you did in your capacity you're not wrong okay you're not wrong and so are you you're not wrong either right if you could just uh, come to that transformational reality where you're just getting yourself to forgive you and to, and them there's a lot of energy that of a power struggle that can shift between you and your parents are you willing to clear the shit that you created with your parents you know you are angry that they got you in the world while you are also aware that you were the fuckers you know who kind of got them to uh, copulate and come out of uh, through them you created your fucking parents you know that i once told my mom if you never wanted to fulfill my uh, wishes why, why did, did you give birth to me birth yeah to because Yeah, that's a way we manipulate our parents. By the way, you know, kids are manipulative, and lesser did you know that. If you could just allow yourself to ease out your tension or that stress that you've built up over a period of time with your parents, that I'm so not them, I'm so different, but you're literally a part of them, and you're resisting, you're avoiding, and defending them. Everything that is stopping and limiting your money flows, the way your body looks today. Will you revoke, re can, re send, reclaim, re now, re down, re destroy, and uncreate it now? Yes, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, perfect, line, shots, boys, for bad and beyonds. Any would would like to share something or say something? Then we can I can go. So you could also ask a question, which Dean gave us, like, who or what are you so angry at that you could kill? And everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it now? Right, wrong, good, bad, perfect, line, shots, boys, for bad and beyonds. who who are you literally killing if you're choosing to kill somebody who are you killing if not you for those whose parents have gone okay fine thank you so much for those who have not yet gone and who are still there and you're in a good term with them great good for you but if not you scared of your parents what 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 are they going to think or judge because they've always judged you haven't they yes that will you kind of revoke re can reach the claim and announce around this join and create it now right wrong good bad perfect line short boys for everyone can you also acknowledge that your parents required validation okay so your parents required that validation of their reality and so you became a good daughter all of you said brilliant daughters you know you did everything that they asked you for so and that was like a validation of their reality and you created almost 
a similar or same reality because mom said so right but then mom was not happy still because yeah. she was unhappy from within so kavita yes. there's one energy coming up here um, please everywhere like women you know generally there's this whole conversation where if women don't give birth then yeah. they are considered yeah. blah so everywhere you decided to be born just to <laughs> avoid that mother to have that and then yeah. now you know you haven't really thought about how what you want when you're creating your life somewhere around that oh that's a huge one okay thank you so yes, much thank yeah. you i always had a question ki you know what is your mom no so how many mothers did not want to be become mothers but only because of their biological clock, clock was ticking they had to produce and they couldn't give you enough and you then had to go into wrongness of you that what's wrong with me why am i not getting that kind of love everything that brings up or brings down will you destroy and uncreate it now yes please right wrong good bad perfect line child everywhere be, and everywhere they wanted boys and girls were born <laughs> everywhere they wanted boys and girls were born everything that brings out will you destroy and uncreate it now yes right please. wrong good bad part for client shot boys for vibes and beyond and everywhere then you wanted boys because your moms wanted boys but you they couldn't have so you can have so at least you can get back to your mom say hey you know i produce more than you or like i produce a boy that yeah. that becomes an indirect validation of your worth oh yeah your worth yeah you're worth it I could this is totally given to me. Thank you. That everything that brings up or brings down that you thought that you're not worth it because you're a woman or you're a girl. I mean, who was born at that time, and because the entire chase was to have a boy, and you're not there yet. You'd rather well, you'd, you'd rather give birth to babies than money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything that is that you're not willing to birth money. Will you revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, renounce, destroy, and create it now? Please. Right, wrong, good, bad, part for client, short, boys for guys and beyond. Because money is the domain of men. Women can't even be there. Everything that brings up or brings down, will you destroy and create it now? Right, wrong, good, bad, part for client, short, boys for guys and beyond. And everywhere you locked up that that lie in your body, because your mom did not have an idea unless she was working or she was. Uh, a little more open minded woman um but she also had her restrictions and her limitations that she imposed and impelled on you that are now locked up in your body that you can't go beyond that because if you do then you're not a part of the family right everything that you wishing so hard to be a part of that family will you revoke recant rescind reclaim renounce renounce destroy and uncreate it please very strong good bad part for client short boys for vads and beyond so what are you avoiding What are you avoiding here? What are you defending here? The moment you clear uh, gave that clearing, there was a energy of yuckiness mm -hmm. showed up, and that too in half of the neck on the right side. On the right side. So everywhere you're still trying to, you're not acknowledging that you're right. Everywhere you're, you're trying to right. prove. everywhere you're right and you're proving that you're right and that's holding you by the neck will you destroy and uncreate it now right wrong good bad for for client shots boys for that me everywhere you're still stuck with the right and the wrong of you because that's how people projected at you and now you carrying it with you because they projected it how much are you aware of other people's projection of you that you're carrying with you and that as a judgment of you everything that is will you destroy and create it now right wrong good bad part for client short boy for vadim you one more coming up here or okay. like everywhere we've been bending forward like people have made you bend forward and beat on the feet on the back you know to or get holding you out of holding you by the neck and you want sense. to pull them off you but you can't <laughs> you can't yeah so basically have you, you seen know? that everywhere and your anchor is there okay so you can go only to a certain distance but not beyond that so you have to you you have a radius and you can't go beyond that because if you do then it's a free flow and you will not let yourself have that free flow because you don't want to go too far because otherwise you will be alone and you don't want to be alone you want to have people with you you will be lonely right how many people are sticking on with their family because they don't want to be lonely everything that is will you revoke recant rescind reclaim renounce renounce destroy and create it now 
right wrong good bad perfect line short boy so when you what if an infinite being can never be lonely that's the only thing that is not possible and there is one yeah yeah there is one more thing that you know it's coming up again and again but i am not able to get what it is what yes. do i know that i want to know that i know what what do you know that you want, don't know that you know but you would like to know is that what you said yeah what do i know that i don't want to know that i know and what is but, it how <laughs> three times i read it but yeah i'm like what is it what is it okay so how many times you do not wish to know who you are and what you are what are your capacities you don't want to know that because you know you are phenomenal you are greater because you are an upgraded version of your parents right two people come they copulate and then you come out okay there's something yeah. new coming out because there are two people coming in to create you right yeah. you are the upgraded version it's just that they couldn't acknowledge because they haven't been able to acknowledge themselves how the fuck can they acknowledge that you they created you and then you carry yeah. all That wow. all that projection that they have thrown, oh, you know, single mother, very bad, very bad, you know. The right. access is very bad, you know. It breaks people's houses. It's a very bad thing. You should not go in for it. You go, you will become too practical. Okay, it's evil, <laughs> and the only evil you're right. trying to, and all the the only evil that you're trying to resist so dynamically is uh, that by proving that you're not evil. which means the underlying assumption is that you've already bought that you're so evil in every way you judge yourself for that will you destroy and create it now right from good bad perfect line short boys for that means the only evil that exists on this planet is when you're trying to use your power against somebody else that is evil i don't think any one of you is doing that right are you none of you you want to be that sweet you know that nice person that you be that everyone's like oh she's so sweet you know she can't do anything i know she can't do anything you know the world is so bad out there you can't single mother you're going to die it's a very tough thing and then you know what you people will give you names that you're sleeping around with x y z evil 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 yeah that's what you will become evil you'll become a slut of this uh, reality and then you may not get another person who's going to uh, accept your uh, children oh it's a very bad thing so where you are please stay there everything that brings up or brings down will you destroy and uncreate it now everywhere evil is black sheep <laughs> you separate yeah yes balavi when my divorce process was happening actually mm -hmm. i wanted that i i wanted that i was so preparing documentation meeting lawyers meeting multiple people and i was <clears throat> that time my mother's mother came and started staying with us and she saying life will be tough how can yeah. you allow your daughter to talk to many men yeah i know and my dad said that you're going to become a prostitute if you're going to leave uh, your husband because uh, how are you going to make money and how you, how are you going to raise your child and he used this word prostitute and i'm not mincing my words he said you're going to become a prostitute that's how you want to live your life and i was afraid of becoming one and i did not become one <laughs> and i'm like oh my god i proved him wrong mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> my dad was deep yeah he was he was abusive also till he realized that it was impossible the man would not come home and you want me to stay in a house with him while he is not there and then continue the marriage because the label says married while he is fucking around other women and what do i do i have to be in this marriage and not be fucked or be fucked in a wrong way so i was literally fucked in a wrong way it had it been good fuck no problem but there was a not such a great fuck yes everywhere you fucking your lives not in a good way will you please destroy and uncreate it now Right, like wrong, good, bad, perfect line. Shows boys for what they want. Yes, say say something here. Yes, please. In fact, uh, like if you look at prostitutes, right? They know yeah. exactly how to work with their bodies and how to get money. Yes, you know they. You put, you know, like I think in how to become money workbook or some place they say, you know, drug addict, uh, drugs when you sell drugs or you know, yeah. like when you're that's advanced money like workbook talks about it. That yeah, how so, does it matter if you're selling pot as long as you know what you're doing and you're going to make money out of it? Yeah, so right, right. they say, hey, pay the money and then receive the services. 
absolutely and here and, there's other many things that people do but like they go wonky about oh i think maybe i should just do this or maybe i should do that and you know maybe i shouldn't get paid or blah 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 yeah i mean right i mean you're just oh, bachelor what? you're all very bad prostitute what if you can actually embody the prostitute in us <laughs> yeah so if if you had no point of view you can receive even from that what if you could allow yourself to trade your services and that's yeah. what iras yeah. is writing all that holy white pee penis oh, penis penis and i wasn't getting any dick yeah <laughs> any tom dick or harry would not work right but the dick was oh, yeah whatever <laughs> it's funny but uh, so you are changing and we're not laughing you know what that's the biggest thing that we stopped laughing because our parents stopped laughing very early they were sad with each other and we thought sad is the new way or you know how we say the new reality after covid but this is the new reality okay this is how you be when your parents stop uh, laughing you stop laughing because if you're laughing too much they'll be like you're making too much noise shut up right and so you didn't want to be that too much you would you would be happier outside your house maybe maybe not rather, rather they feel we are characterless if you are laughing too loudly or <laughs> oh yeah so that's a, that be because i laugh too much they feel that i am characterless i don't have any character in india in india we do have this that look, don't laugh too loudly you will not get married that's what so everywhere you laugh that sadness and underneath that sadness is so much of joy and so much of laughter that's dying to come out like a volcano but you wouldn't let that happen because you want to be sad because other, everyone else is and you want to fit in so everywhere you're trying to fit in and your body is hurting will you please revoke rick and resend reclaim and then then this join and create it all right wrong good bad for line choice boys for vads and beyond so what if you could uh, allow a gentle nurturing touch on your body by the way there are a lot of processes in body process class uh, the new manual is out so there are like 14 processes gone and new 12 processes from advanced body um, that have been added so in case you haven't yet been to a body class you could consider going to one because there are brand new processes coming out soon so yeah i mean if you could just allow that nurturing gentle touch on your body so that you can allow whatever you have suppressed or locked up to literally come out bodies and then money and then your mom dad you you know I mean you kind of recognize where you're being more your dad where you're being your mom and you can give yourself a choice of not being that and having shit loads of money and be judged so that you can be so happy so happy that you could allow so much of money to flow in yeah and have fun with that money and you can invite them to that fun of uh, possibility but you would it because then how else would you prove that you're the sad daughter of your sad mom everything that brings up will you destroy and create yes can, can we take a poll on what is the amount of money that people when you reach that amount would stop creating can we take a poll yeah 10000 raise your hands <laughs> 20000 Could repeat the question. Repeat the question. I said, well, which is the which is the amount when you make that amount? You will say, oh my god, I make I made this, so I'll I'll make it zero. What is that amount in your? What life? is that amount that if you make a certain yeah, so amount, how many are in ten thousand rupees? Like ten thousand rupees, you get you make it zero. Or do you make twenty thousand and make it zero? Or do you make it one lakh and make it zero? Which is that amount? Is your killer zone? Yeah, good. Yeah, and then you'll make it zero okay that's one crore for you for, for others how much money you will reach and then you'll make it zero 1 lakh for rachna okay irasim are you should learn from your dad if he was a successful drug dealer i mean you don't have to be a slut if you don't wish to be but you can make money out of anything you have a sexy sexy body you have yeah so 1 lakh and 1 crore that that's what that's what so how much money would you make that you will eventually bring it down to zero everything that you would love to destroy your creation so that you don't have enough money will you destroy and uncreate it now yes yes right wrong good bad for for line shot boys right what is question, it sorry hmm. go ahead no 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 continue no no and the next question is what is the amount that when you see that you say ah it's okay 
I don't want to take this payment. Is it five rupees, ten rupees, twenty rupees, hundred rupees? You know that minimum amounts that come in. But you'll say no, it's okay. I don't want no, to take it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And how many of those small no, it's okay, has become a pile actually? Which Archana is writing hundred rupees, <laughs> and she'll make one and a half lakhs and uh, just want to. Subsist with uh, substitute it or uh, with fifty lakhs. Okay, you fifty thousand. Okay, you discriminators. <laughs> You're discriminating money when it comes yeah, to I mean, hundred and one. But because your parents did not know how to keep money or have money and hold, you know, have it, not spend it all. You know how to spend it all, and you you still struggling to have money, right? So what does having money mean to you? So now the bigger question is now that you know the discrimination, like this is the amount you'll make it and then make it to zero. And then there's yeah. this minimum amount which you would not even receive. And yeah. we picked this up because as children, we have been discriminated and thought we were less than, loved less, blah, blah, blah. And this is how it's translating. Yeah. And I just want to make enough money only to equal to the EMI. Oh my God. I know. Yeah. For you will make enough money for access classes and then after that you're still struggling with money and you're trying to prove that how access works but doesn't work because you're not allowing it to work for you. Because when you can make money for classes, you surely can make money for yourself as well. Today, somebody was asking me, how did you, when did you know that you have to make this into a profession? I said, I didn't ask too many questions. I think I just jumped at it because when I go logical, then I can't function. Everywhere you're trying to logically look at things or cognitively trying to understand things, which is not understandable. Will you destroy and uncreate it now? Right, wrong, good, bad, perfect, line shot, boys for bad, me So first three years of access, I resisted money like hell because I didn't want to do money workbook. And the day I did it, there was no looking back. Trust me. Out of the blue, I'm asking, okay, yeah, I mean, they say keep asking money. You don't just ask for money. I said, yeah. What will it take for 50 lakhs to come in my bank? And in a month's time, it showed up. And I'm like, is this? No, it's, it can't be true, right? And I asked and I forgot about it. I forgot about it. I did not think about it. Every morning, I was not repeating like a mantra. Okay, fine. All of life or nothing. It was not like a thing that you go put it on repeat. You just ask and you leave it. And be, and then one fine day it just shows up because I did not put a timeline to it. I did not. I mean, I because I was so sure it's not going to come. So being vulnerable with yourself will really work if you wish to create money in your life. Are you willing to be vulnerable with yourself? What you like, what you don't, what works for you, what doesn't. I think that is, is the only thing that will uh, create greater. I wanted to become an actor at one point. So I went to Mumbai, okay, city of dreams. I packed up everything, took my son, single mother in a big city, where big, bad, ugly, everything is there. And three months I realized my son is not liking it. I come back, pack my bags, come back again to where I was, realizing that that is not possible in that city. And then I start making more money. Why? Because everyone around me was judging me and they said, see, we told you, you should not go there. See, we told you. And receiving all those judgments got me to create more, 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 and more. But I was vulnerable with myself that, okay, if I couldn't make it over here, I was losing a lot more money than I was creating. What would I do? What would I choose? If I had to even go back, will that work for me? And answer was yes. Yeah, so have that energy. You can do energy pulls. There's so much that you can play with. And trust me, I still get my processes done. I have done so many body processes that each time I do a process, my money flow start getting better and better and better. I am not kidding. I am not lying, not even one word. Which body process gets you money? I don't know. It's just that open the manual and you just fucking do it. Don't use your mind. The more you use your mind, the less you create. It's about getting out of your mind like you were a kid. And just playing, 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 playing. And then, okay, fine. I, I, where am I? Okay, I got it. You know that. If you can't yeah, ask, that. go do processes on your throat. Go. Where, what is stopping you from asking? Because I also was vulnerable to one point where 
I was resisting being a prostitute. And I thought when I'm doing a session on somebody and saying, hey, you know, give me the money. Oh my God, that felt like prostitution. I couldn't ask. I said, you give whatever. Okay, this is how I would be. That, there was a time when I was like that. I couldn't say no to people. And now after nine years, this is my 10th year. And I'm like, wow, I've come a long way. But it's just that you have to start acknowledging where you were, where you are, and trusting that where you can be. And it's not about your parents. It's not about how they created their life. It's about you choosing now and differently. How different can you be from what you were? Anyway, Dita, you were saying something. So Thank you, Rasmus. Right? Like, yeah. In BMM, like, I don't know how many people have done foundation here. Like in BMM, they talk about, there's a clearing statement, right? The, yes. um, all the realities to be gone. I don't want to say the statement here. You can actually add financial realities over there. Financial reality. Yes, because see, in BMM, he does talk about how our financial patterns are also wired. Now, which parent are you yeah. wiring into? I mean, if you, you know, I mean, have you picked up your mom's pair, uh, mom's wiring or your dad's wiring or somebody else's that you have to see? Well, and or where, whatever they downloaded. Or whatever they downloaded, yeah. So if you could just have money for every fucking thing, even fucking for that matter. You know how this is a mythology thing. Do you know Ramayan? Okay, we have Rama and all, right? The second wife or the third wife, whoever that was, Kekai, okay? She asked for three wishes, which were granted at a time when they were copulating, right? Do you know that? Smart woman. She asked for it and she got it because he committed that he would fulfill everything she's going to ask for. Where are you resisting that? Could you allow yourself to have that too? When you're making out, when you're copulating, even from your husband and with your husband, I mean, you can have it all. You thought you can't. Sorry, can I just ask? So what you're saying yes. is, so when you're copulating, to ask for what you want, what you're, um, sorry, I don't want to use the word so, want, so but to ask for what it is. Yes. So basically, when you're having a lot of fun and the person is having a lot of fun and everything, and once you've just finished your copulation, that's the time the person is willing to give you anything because he's so happy. And that's the time you ask for whatever you would ask for. Hey, you know what? If you could just take me out on this, that, that. and if he doesn't, you don't need to copulate. I mean, you can choose your, choose another guy. That's okay. Oh, that's thank what, you for the tip. <laughs> yeah, because because a lot of people would not see. Simon paid uh, Brendan to get sex. That's what Gary guided her to do, right? That you can pay to have sex, and Brendan agreed to, uh, to that. Now, my point is, if you are providing sex to somebody, could you not ask for something in return? Because it is transactional at the end of it. Do you know what? I've been the idiot. There was this one guy that I was seeing, and after sex, people were like, oh, can you make me something to eat? And like an idiot, I would go and make him something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what if you could just ask, if not for copulation, uh, hey, you know, I'm providing you with food. I'm providing yes. you with some food. Could you give me some money for that? I would really appreciate it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Kavita, man. God, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you Dumb making dumb. people laugh. You you making people laugh. You can ask for five pound each. Hey, you know what? You want to have your laughter dose today? Just go ask for five pound. And that's it. That's how much. Begin with that. That will increase your asking capacity where you're not limiting yourself. You can have money for goddamn everything and anything. You know, are you willing to is the whole thing. Are you willing to ask? You know, uh, I mean, there's a maid who works at my place. So she was doing a lot of, uh, because I, I do classes from home. Um, so she was doing everything and she just asked the other person. He was very happy the way she was working. He's like, now you have to tip me for that. He literally, when he went ahead and he said, here, you were really good. Here, take the tip. She's like, no, 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 no. So you ask, but you're not willing to receive. How many of us just ask for the uh, sake of asking and then we cut off our receiving that we, no, no, we can't have it. We just said it for the fun of it. What if you could be that kid who is making somebody laugh or you're doing something for someone? He's like, yeah, give me, give me something in return, would you? Yeah, it's but that because 
I, I will make us and they show up and then I kind of I'm like oh, I can't believe this just showed up and I'm like, oh. and it's like <laughs> yeah then it's like shoop, it just you know it just yeah, vanishes yeah, yeah it just yeah, disappears yeah. so what if you could allow yourself to have that it's not just about asking it's also about saying yeah I'm ready for it half the time we're not ready for receiving uh what you know the thing yeah we're not ready for receiving so what are you not uh, what are you unwilling to receive that if you start receiving would change your money reality and your relationship reality everything that is will you destroy and uncreate it now it's the judgment because you know i'm quite foul mouthed and when i i could be quite raw <laughs> and yeah. it's that me coming out and being being me mm-hmm. in that to that level and it's the judgment that i'm not willing to receive that now if you could receive money for that judgment how would that be could you transfer that to your bank account every judgment thrown yes. at you can you transfer to bank account and what if you recognize that none of those judgments are real and personal it's only because you being you is something people can't receive because they are not letting themselves be who they would like to be but you being you in front of them becomes like too intimidating or too much just remember one thing when people judge you for who you are they're literally judging themselves through you because oh you're God, in front of them up the we, so you're in front of them but you're not able to see yourself right you yeah, yeah you can receive post dated judgments if it covers yeah. your eyes <laughs> yeah so if you were being judged all your life for not being a great daughter or whatever you do you're just terrible at whatever you do your relationships and you're like oh my god i get so bored with these people and the whole whole idea is to start recognizing you have a choice and you can choose something completely different and it's okay to be different each time you would probably require some some other energy how many of you have been to too many facilitators also a different energy and that's okay what's right about that what if you did not have to judge what if you are receiving and what if you did not have to compare okay who is better than who you just receive it because i know for a fact that gary was gary was talking in a call where he says when we come onto this planet we have a top angle of everything okay a top view of everything and now that we are in body now we are growing up now we are facing things head on like this right so can you just start enjoying what you're getting and not be in judgment of it and as you evolve you may just come on to the top and have a top angle of it as well yeah a worm's view you mean that's what we have and then having an eagle's view correct right what if you could allow yourself to have it while you you are on this plane could you just allow yourself to have receive be in gratitude enjoy the fuck out of it and allow yourself to keep evolving and there you go and then you become the eagle could you allow yourself to be that energy and every way you judge yourself for being fickle minded truth who does that belong to and everywhere you thought you can't decide for yourself everywhere you think you and so do you have too many entities there could you just ask them to step aside if you were truly being you who would you be what would you be where would you be when would you be and how would you be everything that doesn't allow that will you destroy and create it now right wrong good bad perfect line short voice for vibes and beyond so yeah thank you so much for attending this call and essentially i wanted to announce my body classes that are coming up one is in mumbai 20th to 22nd january one is in hyderabad 31st to 2nd we've had a lot of changes in that and uh, nivedita is hosting me there what fun are we going to have because there's been so much change so much change so many day <laughs> changes but finally we're going ahead with 31st to 2nd february and um, mostly one uh, one coming up in delhi uh, from 4th to 6th march in delhi because there is advanced body class coming and simon is coming to india how much fun can you have with your bodies you and how have, much have you, you have surprised one more, yeah. you have one more in ahmedabad right in february i have one more so in ahmedabad 10 to 11 12 have... in ahmedabad yeah 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 first, mm-hmm. first is in bombay then hyderabad then ahmedabad then delhi right 
Yeah, till March, March, four body classes till March. That's okay. Feels like a fan. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. Come play, come come, come play. play. <laughs> and one thing I can guarantee, if you are gonna honor your body, trust me, your life is gonna change more dynamically than ever. Because whatever you abuse, okay. you stored I, the trauma you stored is gonna just kind of melt away. Yes. So I just want to crack a joke here now, inspired yes. by Rasima. Rase- 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 Everywhere yeah. you thought I said C U M play instead of C O M E play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean you just yeah. So yeah, I'm starting to tell, start telling you guys, give me money to take me out to lunch and clean my bathroom after sex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. Thank you for this amazing call. Thank you for being there, making it amazing. So, had you not been there, they, we couldn't have had so much fun. Thank you so much. And thank tomorrow, you. Yes, thank and you. Again, right? Do you want to drop in the link in the and chat? And tomorrow, yes, we can. Yeah, and tomorrow, to... tomorrow we start yeah. with a gift call, intro call on advanced money workbook. Oh my God, that's going to be so much fun because uh, you're advancing your money reality. Lessa, did you know what's it like? Uh-huh. But there are so people dropping the links to both in the WhatsApp yeah, yeah, chat. Yeah. Yeah, Hyderabad class. Oh, yeah, and this advanced money, we can do that. No, all of them. All of them. Okay, yes. All yeah, them. All, all, yeah, all of them. And let them choose. Go to all locations. You know, yes. Simma, when are you coming to India? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Hey. When, are, when are we hosting? I might, I, might have my, I might have my divorce party there. <laughs> yeah. India, oh, yeah, we are waiting for you. We'll wait for you. We'll, we'll yeah. host your divorce party. It's yeah. going to be fun here for sure. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm stopping the recording. Okay. And if you have any questions, yeah.